Welcome to Flea Market Fans for Tuesday the 7th of August, I think it is. August? Mm. Yeah, August. I got today a Grundig TK6 reel to reel for the grand princely sum of £20 and a stack of 78s. You can have a look at them right now. Dear Dr. Quentin Reynolds, I think it's got a crack in it, that one. No, has not got a crack in it? It's not in bad condition, actually. I'll put that back in its cover. Dear Doctor, the same one. Which, uh, no, this is obviously the one before it, because that's number two and that's number four. Dear Mr. S, alas, Adolf Hitler, Quentin Reynolds. You're the cream in my coffee, Jacques Frey and Mario Bragotti, pianoforte duet. Do something quick step, Victor Sylvester and his boring orchestra, and it happened in Monterey Waltz. Nat Ganella and his trumpet, Georgia on my mind, and Sweet, she, see, sweet Sue, Just You. You're a sweet little headache, Bing Crosby. Is you or is you ain't my baby? And Bugle Call Rag. Billy Cotton and Orchestra. Now, on to more electrical things, which I'm sure you're all digging to know about. They had 30 quid on this, but I got it down to 20 with some haggling and, um, yeah. It's a Gundig TK6 wheel to wheel. I'll do a proper presentation on it. We've got on this little beauty a counter, level volume, record, rewind, stop, start, fast forward and temporary stop, that's a pause, on off tone, the volume and battery indicator. On the side we have the compartment where you store the power cable and the inserts for your microphone. I got it and it won't rewind. Um, it wouldn't. It needed a new plug on it. Look at that, Mr. Garrod eighty six would say, "Oh, just just nice to electrocute you." But I have to keep the original lead. It's not nothing wrong with it at all. It's got no breakages. Put a new plug on it because it hasn't got a plug on it. I was taking a big risk buying it for twenty quid, but I fell in love with it. Now there is one or two little things wrong with this, but they can be sorted out. One is the Perspex glass is missing here, but I'm going to cut some out of a Perspex something. Oh, I can cut this off with one hand. Excuse me. There we go. And the head cover is missing, but I'm sure we could get a new head cover. Um, I have a friend who lives in Blackpool called the Tape Recorder Centre, and he'll probably have one of them. It came with the original Grund. Grundy take up reel and then reel of EMI tape, which you might just see over there. You've got three, 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 three and three quarters and one and seven eighths. So we switch it on and a nice hummy sound comes out. But yeah, I recorded this tape using this machine off of the radio. So let's just have a look at that. So here we are. Mm. Excuse me one second. My baby, what do I see?
can do a voice recording on it um, with that microphone there. So let me just take this tape off because I really like that song. And this tape's off a favourite radio station so I don't want to be recording over it because I'll probably listen to it tonight. So let's just take this nice BASF tape off. I've got a lot of them. I found them in a box. Here's the tape that it came with. And no understatement to say it is full. It is brimming full. Right, we'll just shove it on there like that. Now while I'm threading this up yours, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to come on here. So while I thread this tape up. Because I can't do this second handed of course because I can't do this one handed because it's very hard to do it. Okay. It has no monitor whatsoever on this. All you've got here and here is a little switch which turns the speaker off. I'm not even pointing the camera at it. So I'll plug this old Philips microphone in. Um, how to put this in? AG3304 had a Ferguson on his channel a few days ago. I think it was Sunday that was on. I will set our levels. I'm just going to say it's a number four. Temporary stop. Record. Press record and play in the usual manner. me making the recording, I'm sure you do. Just checking when the leader comes by. And it's coming now. Testing, testing, the Grundig TK6 reel to reel tape recorder which I got from a flea market. Um, it probably will be working. Um, the sound is quite good with this microphone but um, I really need to get an original Grundig microphone. But yeah, it does work with this microphone. This microphone's an old Philips. Um, it works surprisingly well with music, which I found because I thought I've seen these on YouTube and I've thought, well, you know, I've only heard them with voice recording, I've heard them with music. So, um, yeah. Stop. Just rewind that. Still needs a bit of help. I think it's just grease and everything, you know. The motor doesn't have the power to drive that, but we can sort that out. Can't we? We oil it and everything. Oops. <laughs> anyway, let's press play. Testing, testing the Grundig DK6 reel to reel tape recorder, which I got from a flea market. Um, it probably will be working. Um, the sound is quite good with this microphone, but um, I really need to get an original Grundig microphone. But yeah, it does work with this microphone. This microphone's an old Philips. Um, it works surprisingly well with music, which I found because I thought I've seen these on YouTube and I've thought, well, you know, I've only heard them with voice recording, I've heard them with music. So, um, yeah. And I've got normal colours. After a bit of tinkering on some WD40, I've been back. That's a really over modulated recording. So, that's just a quick look at the Grundig. See you soon and bye for now.